Representative Seltzer, thank you for joining us. Can you begin by explaining who you are and what you do for a professional career? Well, it's great to be here, Sarah. Thank you very much. And I am State Representative Yvonne Seltzer. I represent Southern Minnetonka and Northern Eden Prairie. And I, um, right now, I am a professional legislator, but in the past, I have been a teacher and I also spent a considerable amount of time in the business community. Can you tell us about your district and what your constituents care about? I have a wonderful district filled with caring, involved people in all walks of life and different ethnicities and it's a wonderful community and they're cohesive and come together around issues that are important to them and to Minnesota and they care about the issues I think that everyone cares about in across Minnesota. Education is a very big uh, priority for our district. I'm a former teacher and a former school board chair and education is always very important to me. Obviously, they want a vibrant economy. They want health care that is high quality and affordable, and they want an environment um, that their children will be able to thrive in. What are your top priorities for this legislative session? Well, Sarah, it's a very short session. So, and as we know, the top three issues that we have to deal with are bonding, and we have to, as legislators, it's part of our public trust to make sure that we maintain the infrastructure that has been paid for by our taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. So that's going to be a very big topic. Transportation will be huge. We passed on, we passed a lights on bill last time, despite all the construction that seemed to be going around on in the metro area. We have a lot of deferred maintenance on our roads and bridges, and that will be an area of discussion. I think we're all united around doing something about that. A more controversial subject is the Southwest Light Rail. Some people are for it, some people are against it. The business uh, people in my community have told me that it will help support the 30 to 60,000 new jobs they anticipate in our area by 2030. So I am um, very supportive of the Southwest Light Rail and I'm carrying the legislation to bond for building, uh, the, for the state's portion of Southwest Light Rail. And then obviously the other unfinished uh, bill on the table is taxes. And so we need, uh, obviously, um, our citizens work very hard. And if we're in a position to provide targeted tax relief to Minnesotans and our Minnesota small and medium-sized businesses, I think we have a great opportunity there. So those are some of the hot topics this session. And, um, and as far as my own priorities go, I intend to uh, devote time, obviously, to those three. But always remembering, too, that education is very important. The governor is putting forward a proposal for a universal pre-K. So that's going to be a very hot topic. I am very proud of what we have done as a legislature over the last three years. As a legislature, bipartisanly, we have um, made early education for children a priority. We've targeted a lot of money towards kids that are in the achievement gap so that they, or, or they have the uh, potential of becoming um, victims of the achievement gap. So we're getting those kids ready for school so that they can go and achieve and be all that they can be. So I'm very excited about that. I want to continue to move that forward. Um, we ha I'm, uh, as a former teacher and a former school board chair, I know that for years we disinvested in education because of the recession. There just wasn't money. So we need to, of course, always hold our schools accountable, but we also need to provide our schools with the resources so they can ensure that all of our children succeed. Mental health um, issues are very important to me. And this year, this session, I'll be bringing forward a bill which will require that teachers, as one of the 25 hours they have to um, put in to be recertified with stat with professional development, will be devoted to recognizing suicidal ideation in children. Sarah, over 60 children in 2013 in K-12 committed suicide, and that is really a tragedy. So that's something we need to do something about. I also want to continue to attack the huge college debt that many of our students have. We've made some progress in that area, but we have a long way to go. And then also making sure that our students are educated for the good paying jobs out there is another priority of mine. What have you found to be the most rewarding aspect of being a legislator? There are a lot of areas that are very rewarding, but um, I think there are two areas that, that leap to my mind right away. One, of course, is when you, uh, in a bipartisan fashion, are able to pass a bill um, that helps Minnesotans 
that's why you're here. And another area that's very gratifying to me is my opportunity as a state legislature to help individual constituents navigate the system, you know, solve problems, and I've been able to do that, and that's also very gratifying. My final question is, if you had one extra hour in the day, how would you like to spend it? That's another tough one, Sarah, because there are a lot of things, like everyone, that I like to do. But I guess if they had one extra hour in the day, I guess I would use it to continue to educate myself about the issues that we face in Minnesota. One thing I've learned um, throughout life, and as a state legislature, Sarah, is that um, the devil is in the details. And so it's really important, and that's why we have representative government, for me to understand and to really have a grasp of the issues so that I can make intelligent decisions and represent my constituents well. So though there are a lot of other things that I'd like to do too, I guess that's what I would do with my one extra hour. Representative Salster, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Sarah.